these who are not there. <laughs> It is 10.02 a.m. Central Time, and the Wispus Nasvik Business Meeting of the 15th North American Science Fiction Convention will be in order. I am Kevin Stanley, and I am the uh, chair of this meeting. To my left is Martin Pine, the secretary. In the back of the room is Lisa Hayes, our videographer. And to my right is Sharon Sabarsky, the head of site selection. I do believe that the front matter and overhead of this meeting may take longer than the meeting itself. <laughs> <laughs> but there has never been a NASPIC business meeting before. And therefore, I feel the need to explain things and establish some precedents. This meeting is being recorded under what's the standing rule 1.6. It is also being streamed on Zoom, but that is not the official recording. The motion to stop or start recording is in order and requires a majority vote. The authority to hold this meeting is the Wispus Constitution, section 4.8.5, uh, and was ratified either last year or the year before that. I've forgotten, actually. But, and it applies only when a NASFIC selects a, a NASFIC, despite what some people may have suggested. This is not the first time this has happened. It is the third. Uh, it happened, at least as far as I know, it happened in uh, uh, 2019 and uh, 19... 87, I think, is the last time before that. 87 selected 90. We'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. That's why it's so hard to figure it out. Okay. Before I continue, you will note that I do appear to be shouting. There is no amplification in this room. This is picking up only for Zoom. There is a uh, camera with a microphone in it back there, but I have been informed that you do need to project. Uh, if you find yourself speaking to the meeting, I'm going to ask you to come up in front and face that direction and talk toward that camera, or else we will not be able to hear what you were saying. The quorum for this meeting, per sec uh, Constitution Section 5.15, is 12 members of the society physically present. The chair rules that in light of what section 4.8.5 says, that means for the purpose of this quorum, members of the society are members of the administering convention, that's this NASFIC, who have a membership that includes the right to be present at the site and participate in WISPAS affairs on that day. Because of the way that worked out for this convention, that's everybody present who has a membership badge, except stuffies. <laughs> Sorry, Kuma Bear. <laughs> Under WISPAS rules, standing rule 1.2 regarding the preliminary business meeting is not required because the only business we are allowed to consider <coughs> is the site selection and any business directly arising from site selection. Under section 1.3, this is the site selection meeting. The chair intends to take the site selection report, which is the first thing involved, matters directly arising out of that, and then proceed to the matters under, sec under rule 7.1, question time for the NASPIC selected who will get up to 15 minutes to do presentations. Addressing the online members, and we thank you for being here, online members may not make motions or vote, but assuming the tech works and, it, and time permits, you can ask questions when we get to question time. I believe that is all of the front matter. Is, are there any questions about procedure? Although it is unlikely, should anybody need to be recognized by the chair to present the motion or uh, 
uh, debate or any of those things. I think it's extremely unlikely, but unless you are incapable of standing, the chair would like you to stand to be recognized. How many people, I, I, there's some people I see, but could some, those people who have difficulty, is it, uh, could I have a show of hands of those people who would have trouble standing in such a case? Okay, it, it, there have been, I would have said, we can use show of, oh. Okay. Um, Becky, for what it's worth, I cannot see you from where I'm sitting. Okay. Okay. Uh, you are actually invisible right here. <laughs> I don't think it will matter, but if you wish to be recognized, you can do a show of hands for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are there any questions on procedure before we go on to the actual meeting material? Okay. The chair recognizes Sharon Zabarski, the site selection administrator, to present the results of the ballot. Hi, I'm Sharon Skorsky, she her, the site, uh, site selection administrator for the 16th, uh, NASFIC, 15th NASFIC, to select the 16th NASFIC. Oh, yeah. uh, I believe 2005 also selected 2007. Okay, we'll look it up, thank you. Um, yeah, I remember that too. Okay, then four, not three, go on. Um, there were 142 paid votes uh, for the site selection, 139 actual ballots cast, which means that some three people paid for their votes and didn't put it in our little box. Um, Precon includes electronic ballots, mail-in ballots, and one hand-carry ballot to the administrator. There were 19. There were eight e-ballots received during the con until 4 p.m. yesterday, CDT. 40 ballots were cast on Thursday, and 72 ballots cast on Friday for that total of 139. The number of ballots necessary to declare a winner is 68, which is 139 minus four no preference, or 135 divided by two rounds it up. There were, as I said, there were four no preference, there was one none of the above, there were five write-ins, of which there was Grantville, West Virginia, <laughs> Kendall Park, New Jersey, Minneapolis in 73, <laughs> Reno, Nevada, and a bathroom full of boxes containing either top secret documents or Hugo Award voting results. <laughs> All of those ballots um, got transferred to their first place vote, if any. Um, but it wasn't necessary because on the first ballot, Buffalo received 129 votes. Objection to thanking the site selection administrators and ordering them to destroy the ballots. Hearing none, this meeting thanks Ms. Savarsky and the site selection team for their work in doing the in doing the site selection. <laughs> and um, to handle all of the remaining handover inter, uh, jobs before you can stop, and to destroy the ballots. The ballast order destroyed the results of the race are now official. Congratulations, Buffalo. <laughs> we now move to question time, and the chair calls upon uh, Wayne Brown to make an initial presentation and to handle question time for the Buffalo NASA. <laughs> I believe so. The tech person will make sure we're on both cameras. Okay. Hello. Oh, nice. oh, oh, nice. 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 Yeah. It would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I'm Wayne Brown. I am chairman of the Buffalo in 2024 NASFIC convention. Uh, <laughs> everybody who's working with us. Well, I came up with this idea. I was at Heliosphere last March. And on the way, one of my members and my club said, hey, we could do a NASPIC or a Worldcon in Buffalo. Oh, and then we said, no, nah, there's not enough space, but maybe a NASPIC. 
but I told him to look into it because I didn't want to do it because I knew it was going to be a lot of work. And then on the six hour drive back, with nothing else better to think about, <laughs> I thought about it more. And I said, well, let me, when I got home, I just started calling around a couple of people. And next thing I know, we got a small community together to do a NASVIC in Buffalo. And then we just started looking at hotel space, convention center space, getting more people, website, and here we are with a NASVIC in Buffalo. So thank you guys. And um, yeah, is there anything else you guys want to know? You want to do your initial present, initial announcements, oh, wait. guests of honor, and one yeah. and, and other <coughs> material. We've got, we've got our progress report zero, and in it are our guests of honor. Our author guest of honor is Alan Dean Foster. Yeah. Our artist guest of honor are Phil and Kaya Folio. Yeah. Our fan guest of honor are Super and uh, Tony Lewis. And our young A guest of honor is Nyla Magruder. She was nominated for uh, Best Fan Artist last year in the Hugo. Oh. So that's who we, we're, who we got for guests. Um, we're at the Hyatt Regency Hotel downtown Buffalo. Uh, we're connected to the convention center and there's a walkway, not as long as this walkway. <laughs> But if you guys want, we can see about making it longer. <laughs> you can walk around the block. Yeah. Okay. How about your initial uh, information, where you'll be working from to convert memberships and sell new ones today? We'll be working, we'll be working from the tables we've been at all weekend. Our initial <coughs> membership rate, if you convert is, and you pre-support it, is $35. And if you didn't pre-support, it's forty-five dollars. And for if you just want to get a membership, is seventy-five. American. What American? Thing? Yes. Oh, I don't know the numbers for Canadian off the top of my head. Hundred bucks. They're on the sheet. Yes, they're on the sheet. I I, I made sure to put them on the sheet. So this is November first, rather than after Thanksgiving. Okay. A friend of mine would have joined at most con. Okay. But well, I'll have to tell her. Yes. Anything other okay. Yep. Does anybody else? Question here. Converted and haven't voted. And you haven't voted? It's not voted. And it's $35. If you voted and you were pre supporter, is that was the question? Yes. Okay. It's $35. And $35, yes. And if you didn't vote if you didn't pre support, it's forty five dollars and you just voted, it's forty five dollars. And like I said, if you just want a membership, it's seventy five. You've got the list, so when I get to the table, you can tell me how much to pay. Yeah. Yes, we can always tell you. That's all I need. Right, because I friended, so it's probably it's likely. Hard. Hard. Yeah, if, if you friend it, it's like at, at the hot or the atomic fireball level, because you're facing our it's off the wings, it just converts to attending membership right there. If you voted. If you voted. Right. It is very likely that if you're physically present here, the best thing to do is go come, drop by their table today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. How long will you be here tomorrow? I'm here, I don't fly out till like 5 o'clock uh, Monday. Okay, so you'll be there till closure time in the exhibit hall, which is yes. 3. Yes, right? yes, I will be here. All right, another question over here. Yep. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, okay. I thought you were asking. But is there anybody else here in the room who has a question? Mr. Fine. Uh, uh, Mark Protection Committee delegate. Oh, right. Oh, yes. that's uh, Dave Ennis. He's our Mark Protection. He's a... Uh, He's a mark protection person. What's her name? What's her name? Uh, Dave Ennis. Uh, Dave, see me after the meeting so I can get your email. The Wisp Smart Protection Committee uh, is what manages the intellectual property of Wisp's and Nastics, like Worldcons, get to appoint somebody to serve as a member of the committee. And uh, be, be reminded that because you've been seated before the Worldcon, you will have a financial report due to this year's Worldcon in Chengdu. Yeah. <laughs> it may not have much, but it will have something. I know because we're going to hand you something a little later today. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the online chat. Are there people online wishing to ask questions? Don't say no. If you don't say something, you have something to say. I do not see anybody asking online. One last chance for people in here. 
Yes, Lord. Is there an informal name to your convention other than Buffalo NASDAQ? Is there, is, will you have a name other than just Buffalo NASDAQ? A nickname. A nickname. I would like to, but we haven't thought of one yet. Okay. Shuffle con. Okay. <laughs> Fred. This is the wrong <laughs> forum for suggesting such yes. things, yes. Very well then. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Thank Congratulations. You. There being no further material that can, this meeting can competently discuss under WISPAS rules, the meeting of the, the WISPAS business meeting of the 15th NASPIC is now adjourned CDDA. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.